for each other. The, one of my favorites is plan for survival. Not only for yourself, but your teammates. And the last one is follow the script. We spend a lot of time following the script. In an aircraft, if you guys goes out and he see, hears something from TM that's out of the ordinary, it's an all stop, isn't it? All stop, come back. It sh the aircraft shouldn't do anything we don't expect. It's no different for a missile. We take a missile, it starts reacting strangely on, on the uh, test stand, or when we shoot it, it does something different that we do, than what we expected. What do we do? We all stop. We got to sit down and figure this thing out because it did something we did not expect it to do. Not a normal outcome. Sometimes in our test, when we go through the, the CRM, the, the uh, resource man or the uh, risk man composite risk management, you look at it and you go, man, one of the possibilities is this thing is just going to blow up and conflagrate, and we're going to lose all of our our test equipment. Okay. If that is one of those things, we sign it off, and that's the accepted risk, and it blows up, and you go, that was one of the things we expected it to do. Maybe it wasn't the desired one, but we certainly planned for it. Successful test, guys. Because we mitigated the risk the best we could. We kept our people out of the way. We took care of our assets so we could fight another day, and we can move on and keep going and learn those lessons. Okay? Um, that's my piece on the safety. What I, one of the things we do on... Uh, any questions on the safety piece, real quick? Okay. When you leave here, please think about that. Attention to detail, complacency, and overconfidence. Okay. Just please think about those three things. Okay. Next slide. One of the things I've done a lot, we've done a lot, is uh, every week we have a staff meeting. Guys, it's not fun. You, you think I sit around and dream this stuff up? I really don't. It, it's not fun. Okay. There's a lot of work that goes into it. There's Right now, out of Big Army, coming down through ATEC, a lot of times we get it outside from external sources, whether our, our PEO brothers uh, or out of, uh, out of the field. There's a lot of stuff that just has to get cycled through and down into the trenches, okay, at the lowest level. So we have a staff meeting. It's about an hour and a half in a slide deck of about anywhere from, what, 50 to 100 slides, and everything is reported out in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the center. It's a two-way conversation, and what you should be getting down in your divisions and in your teams is a back brief on those things that are, how that influences you down at that point. That's been going on since I've been here, okay? If it's not, you need to talk to your division chief and figure out why you're not getting that type of information, okay? Now, if you hear it, you may not believe it, you may not like it, but that's information that comes down. But one of the things we've done, spent a lot of time on within the uh, center, and I, we've worked very hard, and I'll tell you what, we have a team that's put together a strategic internal communication plan, which is absolutely one of the best I've ever seen, is how do we leverage technology to communicate with the workforce? Okay, because we've got a workforce that's really diverse. We've got folks that are very young to really old, and everything in between from, from the trades to, you know, where's my PhD yet? Dr. Ken and everybody else, there we go, we got a bunch of them. To, and to knuckleheads like me. We got everyone in between. So, okay, how do we leverage the technology that's out there within the Army system to move forward with it and give, give a feedback so that you guys can link into us? Because if you're counting on once every quarter to give you a feedback on the state of the center, we're probably not doing really good. Okay, so what we did is we've, we've worked very hard on the website, the brochure, the feeds into the Redstone Rocket, Facebook page, YouTube channel, internet, next slide please. The website, you know, you got a lot of the guys have seen this already. The website, it's been around for a while. Changed that, we've sectioned it more so that the customers can go on there and actually find out based on their commodity area, what are the capabilities, because when you look at it, a capability that uh, is in one division actually may cross three or four different commodity areas. So we've, we're in the process of reworking that. Uh, should be, well, let's see here. Should be out in the, uh, sometime later this month. Wasn't quite satisfied. They're tweaking it, doing a great job. Next slide. Along with that will be the brochure. One of the things that uh, you've got to be able to do is hand that out to people, you know, from our standpoint, from the big RTC. Go, hey, this is what we do. This is how you contact us. This is how, if you're interested in doing business with us, this, this is how you go about it. Because it's pretty hard to uh, play the ball game if you don't know the rules, right? Next slide, please. The rocket has actually been very, very good for us. They, on average, run us, run a two to three articles a month in the Redstone rocket, which is in paper and then on electronics. Uh, next slide, please. Facebook page. If you want to get a good idea what we, 
we've uh, really about the last quarter, this thing has really come up strong. There's about 115 folks on there now uh, that, are, that have liked us. It, it covers stuff from all over, not only internal to RTC, but also across the arsenal, okay? So it's, it's a good source of information. And that's also where we will help put out bad weather, you know, inclement weather, how things are closing, how that's gonna affect us, et cetera, and we'll get to that in a moment. Next slide. YouTube channel. You know, we've been doing a lot of work with NASA out on the ranges, doing the lunar lander, stuff like that. There's videos of that already out there. Uh, so you know, all you gotta do is RTC, you know, Redstone Test Center, look us up, save it into your bookmarks, away we go, same way with Facebook. Uh, now you can access the RTC Facebook page without having a Facebook profile, okay, for those of you that, that don't, uh, aren't into that, but you can set security settings anyway. Next slide, please. There are access issues within Big Army, okay? It's typical, don't worry about it, guys. But yeah, I can't, we, uh, our IT folks tried to get us opened up so we could at least open up that port within us to get to Facebook and the uh, YouTube. That can't be done, that's, sorry guys. The big G6 of the Army won't let you do it. But most people here carry smartphones, have home computers, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of people have Facebook pages. I think it's one of the biggest social networking out there. So you can click on it at home, gets you good, good uh, stuff. We do scrub it through the stuff through the S3 shop. They do a phenomenal job, uh, the three and, and Miss Crick on keeping that stuff sorted, keeping me out of trouble with, uh, with uh, releasability issues and stuff like that. But uh, it, it has a heck of a lot of information. I'd implore you to go ahead and take a look at it. You can actually see what we've done just in the last 90 days on it from events, everything from the fun run to the wear pink to the, uh, uh, the NASA dedication that, that our, we had about 80 of our brothers and sisters from within the organization dedicated their own time uh, to set up for. So next slide. The intranet, that'll, when, when we get this thing up and running, which will be very, very soon, that's the page you're gonna see when you open up your, your computer, okay? So that way, all the training and all this stuff that tends to, now I'm not a big fan of uh, computer-based training, okay? I didn't dream this stuff up, guys. But it comes down, hey, you gotta do this, hey, you gotta do that. But this will have it in one location, so hopefully it'll be easy for everyone to navigate, negotiate, and get through it, okay? Next slide. The internet, intern, obviously internal to the RTC employees. What I wanna do is, is give everyone the be a little bit better heads up on what's going on. That way, it's, communications is like a campaign, okay? It's not just one method. You gotta use as many methods as you can so that people can understand and hear what's going on, okay? One of the things that I, uh, what we've had complaints about is folks weren't getting the information. That's why we put all of these uh, slides from uh, town halls and things. They're, they're accessible on RMSS, so you, we've got all that stuff up there. The information's there, folks. Next slide. Weather question and answer. We're getting into that time of the year. First off, and I'll tell you this, common sense is not all that common, but don't do stupid things. How, I mean, if, if you, there's one thing I can say, just don't do anything stupid. When the roads are icy and you live on the other side of the mountain and you know the mountain's gonna be bad, call your supervisor. Okay, don't crash your car. It's not worth it. You know, and, and you, you know the folks around here all drive like they're in the Talladega, right? Okay, don't do that. You know, use your blinkers, you don't save electricity, okay? But this is that time of the year. What do I do if the installation closes? Facebook page will have that stuff updated. There, I'll also, there's a whole laundry list of other uh, places that, you, that we'll have on the next page here that you guys can see, but it's also on the local news and radio. We generally follow what the schools are doing, okay? So it's not too hard to follow that. Uh, if you don't have that up-to-date information, contact the chain, your chain of command. If that's a two-way street, I don't know, supervisor never called me, I'm good. No, 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 stop. Supervisor don't call you, haven't heard from you, kind of curious, give him a call. I mean, I think I paid for what, 500 and how many blackberries across us? Give him a call, okay? Uh, how do I, de now this is important, how do I determine if I'm essential? First off, everyone's essential, okay? I should have had that rephrased, key and essential as defined by the arsenal, okay? If you look on the badge, the arsenal badges, there's people that have been determined key and essential. Those are folks that have, that have been determined by the directorate level that they need in here to operate. Now, when the weather's closed and uh, we're scrubbing that list again, you should already know if you're key and essential uh, to come in. If the arsenal's closed, the reason you have those little uh, gobbledygook numbers on your badge is so you can get into the arsenal when it's closed. For example, the flight side of the house, when there's a catastrophic event, 
Well, within two days after the tornadoes, we're flying the governor and all of his muck, or not the governor, the senators and all their muckety mucks around. You got to do that. Range out in Miss Cunningham's, you've got stuff that's always going on. Hey, key and essential, and you're in there, you call up your chain of command and go, hey, listen, I've got to do this. You take care of business, okay? That's the point on that. If the power is off, do I come to work? Well, you don't get as many phone calls, which is pretty nice. <laughs> and <laughs> but to Facebook, up to date, chain of command, key and essential pieces. Is there work you need to be doing? I mean, it's just that simple, okay? And the last one, I like that one. If I've not heard from my supervisor, so what do I do? Guys, give the guy a call. If we have a catastrophic event, say we have those tornadoes from last year, and I hope we don't. I mean, th this is, uh, every place I go, they go, well, we never had that weather till you got here, Kohara. Maybe I'm jinxing you. But it took, in some arenas, it took a long time to get, to get our habeas grabus on the folks. Now I know people they, they take the easy way. Oh, he's a contractor. He don't, you know, this and that. He can't, well, you can't call him because he's a contractor. Watch me, I don't care. Okay? The thing is, is we got to know that you're okay because if you're not okay, we need to go get you some help. It's just that simple. I remember when we had the hur Hurricane uh, Isabel, when it came through up in, in Maryland, and it, it flat smoked that place. It, it was not a pretty sight. It took us two days to maneuver to everybody's house just to make sure that, hey, you're okay. You're not living in dirty water. You've got some chow, you know, there's a generator. We consolidated people in. It's only from that, it's not to be nosy. I really don't care what you do on your off time. You know, but I do am very concerned whether you're a DAC, a contractor, or military. You're part of my team, okay? I've talked to all of your contract leads. They're on my team. We care about you as human beings. I worry about that stuff, okay? So, yeah, there's, you know, delineations between contractors and DACs on awards and these types of things, but when you're talking a natural disaster or, or a human-made disaster, people are people, guys. We all bleed red. Okay, we all got family, we all have loved ones, we all take care of each other. It's just that simple. Any questions on that? So, at the biggest, the most important point in that time is let's talk to the, somebody in the chain of command so we can get the chicks out and go, yeah, we, we got, we've comms with all our people, we don't have anybody hurt. Okay? Because chances are, chances are, in a center as big as we are, somebody's probably hurt, somebody's without a house, somebody's got, probably lost some loved ones. That's what it is, and that's where we want to concentrate our efforts, okay? Uh, next slide. Additional uh, resources for information in addition to the Facebook page. You got the AMCOM internet site, the, our Facebook, you got the installation weather hotline. If you go on to the Garrison website, they got the little banner that talks about, you know, what's, what their current status is. Sometimes it takes a couple hours to get that updated. And then you've got, obviously, all of, all of the channels of the radios, okay? Bottom line, common sense dictates, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt your loved ones, don't put yourselves in the deal, because you sit there and you go, I gotta get to work, man, I really gotta get to work. And then you wreck your car, you didn't make it to work anyway, did you? No, sir. No, and you got a broke car now. That one's so good. Okay? Questions on that? I think, I think you guys will get a good kick on it. It's still, you know, as people get more involved on it, I think you'll have a lot of fun. It's a good source of information. Uh, what, Rick, is Amy on the next, Miss G? Okay, uh, we're going to take a 10-minute break right now? Yeah, let's do this. We're at 14.30. We'll take a 10-minute break. Okay, to, so we're at 14.40. We'll, I'll come back in, or actually, seven-minute break. Thanks, Ashley. Keep me straight. We'll come back on in and uh, go through the CPOC piece of this. Okay, thank you.